So in this video, I'm going to be showing you another flat file example. This is a category listing report. So what you want to do is open up a message or a seller support ticket that says activate category listing. So go to other issues, activate category listing should be your subject. And all I said was, please activate category listing report for me. That was it. So once that's done, they'll, list, they'll open it up for you in about 10 minutes. So let's actually look at this again. So March 4th at 2.03 p.m. March 5th at 12.07, so it was, it was really quick. So what you're gonna do then is go into inventory, and they actually give you the directions right here. Inventory, inventory reports, category listing report, choose the product category to export, and then click request report and then download. So category, inventory, inventory reports, and then we're gonna find the category report right here. And then you'll want to in Excel, you want to pick your category. And we're just going to do all the listings. So I'm going to go way back. So pretty much you're going to encompass all of it. You're going to pick all, hit request report. Then you'll see it pop in right here. So it'll take a little bit to get that report completed. Okay, it's now ready. So I'm going to click download right here. And then we're going to open it up with Excel. All right, so what I've done here is I've narrowed it down to just the two SKUs and ASINs that I'll be editing for this, this particular one. Um, and so what we're going to be doing now is just making sure that everything lines up. And what we've been having trouble with is it's not updating our images or it's not updating anything. So we're going to get some image URLs, first of all. And so I have a save document here with all of those. So I'm going to grab these five and put them right here, copy them over, and make sure we have the right SKU here. I'm gonna put those in there, so you can see all those are uploaded there. And then I'm gonna grab the other one. And also our product description is not updating. So we're gonna take that right there. So let's look for description. So there's the product description. So we're gonna come over here Grab both of these. I think it's the same for both of them. All right, so we'll put those into there. We're gonna do a partial update, which is already in there. So don't have to worry about that. And then title. So let's go fix the title and the price. And so we got both of those. And that's pretty much it. So we're not gonna really touch anything else because everything else is already covered. Um, see a couple of these might make prevent it from going through but we'll see these reds so what I'm gonna do next is just go up to file save as and what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it to this computer I'm gonna save it as a tab delimited file right there hit save hit OK now we're gonna go back over to seller central we're going to come over here, go to Manage Inventory, Add Products via Upload. Upload your inventory file. And drop the file right in here. And there it is right there. I'm going to have it send it to me. So I'm going to upload that file. And that should do it. So then it's going to send you a report. You can also monitor the inventory status right here. So if you hit refresh, it will be right here and it will tell you if there's any errors that you can download the inventory report there. That should help you fix things. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great brand building videos and videos on Amazon PPC.